Over the next several days, students will be working with the vertical form of solving addition problems, relating their work with place value disks and drawings to the vertical form. So as we show our 22, we think about where we're going to line up our eights. Is it eight tens, eight ones? We're gonna line them up right underneath our other set of ones. Oops, sorry, I was overzealous. And after I have my 22 and my eight, can I make a bundle of 10? Yes, I'm going to circle them and I'm going to show that I've made a new 10. I now see that I have 30. I'm going to write that in the vertical form. 22 plus, where does the eight go? Right underneath our two ones to show 30. We want students to be actively creating this vertical form so that they are really thinking about their ones and their tens. If your child is not lining up their ones, Underneath the ones, go back to the drawings and ask them where they would show their nine ones. So if I was showing my 21 and then I was adding nine ones, where would I put them? I'm going to put them here. And students should really draw their number first and then circle it because otherwise sometimes it gets a little tricky to get the number inside. Students will continue to do that work through lesson seven. Try some word problems as well. In lesson eight, we have a, a space for them to draw and bundle those place value disks on the place value chart. So I'm gonna show 27 plus 15, 27, so we have 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 15. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Students will see where they can bundle and they'll also write this and solve it vertically. I'll write it right here so you can see the connection. 27 plus 15, I've made a 10 and two ones. So I'm gonna put my 12, the 10 for my 12, right on this line here. That gives a chance for the students to see that the number is 12 that they made. And then I will add my tens. Two tens plus one ten is three tens, plus one more 10 that I made is four tens. That's on lesson eight. Lesson nine, is similar work, but we're going to start doing what's called chips. In our, with our place value disks, we're actually writing in our tens and our ones. It takes a little bit longer, but it helps students to concretely or more, more pictorially see what's happening. Once we label our place value chart, we can actually just draw dots. One dot under the word hundreds is 100. Two dots in tens is two tens. Three dots under ones is three ones. So if I was adding 123 plus 16, I have 139. Students will continue to practice using this chip model for lesson 10 as well. Feel free to go back and have students, and here's a picture of that kind of work. Feel free to go back and have students use actual place value disks or just pictorially draw out their place value disks, labeling the disks until you think they're ready or until the teacher has uh, let you know that they are successfully and consistently working with the chip model.